What is router? A router is a crucial network device that connects multiple devices to the internet and helps them communicate within a local network or LAN. It acts as the central hub for your home or office network, directing traffic between devices and the internet while also ensuring that the data goes to the right destination. How router works? Connection to the modem. The router connects to the modem using an ethernet cable with an RJ45 connector. The modem receives the internet signal from the ISP or internet service provider and the router then distributes this internet connection to your devices. Network creation. The router creates a local area network or LAN by assigning IP addresses to each connected devices. It ensures that each device such as computers, smartphones, printers and smart home gadgets can communicate with each other on the network. Routing and traffic management. A router uses its internal routing table to forward data between devices and the internet. It receives data packets from a device, determines where the data should go, either to other device on the local area network or out to the internet, and forwards it to the correct destination. For example, if you are browsing the web, the router ensures that your request to load a web page goes from your computer through the modem to the internet, and that the website data is sent back to your computer. Wireless access or Wi-Fi. Most routers today are wireless routers, meaning they not only provide wired connections through Ethernet cables but also create a Wi-Fi network. This allows devices to connect wirelessly making it easier to access the Internet without physical connections. The router assigns bandwidth ensuring efficient data flow between all connected devices. Security features. Routers act as the first line of defense of all your network. They often include features such as firewall, filters incoming and outgoing traffic to protect against unauthorized access, NAT or network address translation, hides the IP addresses of devices on the LAN or local area network, providing an extra layer of security by masking them from external threats, and parental controls. Some routers allow you to restrict internet access to certain devices or limit content. Advanced features. Quality of service or QoS. Routers can prioritize certain types of traffic such as video calls or gaming, ensuring that these activities get more bandwidth to prevent lag or buffering. VLANs or virtual local area networks advanced routers allow network segmentation, which helps isolate different parts of the network for security or performance reasons. And here are four types of routers. Wireless routers. These are the most common type used in homes and small business they provide both wired and wireless connections, allowing multiple devices to access the internet through Wi-Fi. Wired routers. These routers only offer physical Ethernet connections, which might be used in setups requiring high security and stability, such as in certain business environments or server setups. Core routers. Used in large enterprise environments or data centers, core routers direct data traffic within a network and provide high-speed data transmission. Edge routers. These routers connect internal networks to external networks, often serving as the entry exit point to and from the internet. Real world example home network setup. In a home setup you likely have a modem, provided by your ISP that connects to the internet. The modem is linked to a router using an ethernet cable and this router creates a local network. All your devices, whether a laptop, smartphone, smart TV or game console, connect to the router either wirelessly or through Ethernet cables. When you browse the web, your request to load the page is first sent to the router, which directs it to the modem and then out to the Internet. Once the data comes back, the web page information, the router forwards it to the correct device. Additionally, if you are streaming a video on a tablet while someone else is on a video call, the router ensures that both activities receive the necessary bandwidth to run smoothly. In summary, a router connects your local devices to the internet and manages communication between them. It assigns IP addresses to each device and directs traffic to ensure data reaches the right destination. Most routers today are wireless, providing both wired and Wi-Fi access, making it easy to connect all types of devices. Routers also offer security through firewalls, 
encryption and other protective measures. In essence, an router is a brain of your home or office network, ensuring that all your devices can access the internet efficiently and securely while managing data traffic for smooth, reliable performance. Now let's talk about routers without modems. There are scenarios where only a router is used without a modem. This setup typically occurs when you have a direct internet connection that doesn't require a modem to convert signals, such as in networks with fiber optic or ethernet based internet connections. In these cases, the internet signal provided by ISP or internet service provider is already in format that router can handle. So, separate modem isn't necessary. Let's break down how this works. Scenario without modem. Fiber to the home. FTTH connections. In fiber optic internet connections, ISPs or internet service providers often install a fiber terminal or optical network terminal or ONT inside or outside your home. This device converts fiber optic signal into an ethernet signal which can be directly connected to a router. Since the ONT handles the conversion of the signal, a modem is not needed. The router then creates a local network and manages the connection to the internet. Example, Many fiber ISPs or internet service providers use this setup. The fiber cable comes into the ONT and from there an ethernet cable runs directly to your router which then handles the network distribution. Ethernet based internet. In some cases your ISP may provide a direct ethernet connection to your premises. This is common in some apartment buildings or university dorms where the building has a high speed internet backbone and ethernet jacks in individual units. In this setup there is no need for a modem because the internet is already in a digital format which the router can handle directly. For example in a university dormitories or office buildings you may find the ethernet jacks on the wall. Plugging an ethernet cable into the jack and connecting it to a router allows you to share that internet connection with multiple devices with no modem required. And there are also routers with built-in modem capabilities. Some routers also come with internet integrated modem functions, especially in DSL or cable networks. In these cases, you technically have a router with modem built into it, but you don't see or handle separate modem device. The combo device performs both functions, converting the signal and distributing it over the network. For example, many ISPs provide modem router combos, particularly for home internet. Also, the modem is built in, but users often refer to the devices like this just as a router. And to round it all up, in scenarios where the internet connection is provided directly via Ethernet or fiber optic terminals, there is no need for a separate modem. The router is sufficient to manage the network and distribute the internet to your devices. This setup eliminates the need for signal conversion, making the router the only networking device required.